In this figure, we are given a rectangle ABCD, with a line segment of two units, that is perpendicular to the diagonal, of the rectangle AC. This line segment, also bisect AC. If the length of the rectangle is 6 units, and the breadth, is x, find the value of x. To solve this problem, first let's AF, BY. Since AF, is equal to FC, FC, will also be Y. Next, let's focus on triangle AFE. Since line EF, is perpendicular to AC. It follows that. Triangle AFE, is a right triangle. If we call this angle alpha, then the remaining angle of this triangle, will be 90 degrees, minus alpha. Reason. The sum of angles in a triangle is 180 degrees. Next, let's focus on triangle ABC. Triangle ABC is also a right triangle. Because each corner of the rectangle is 90 degrees. Observe that. Triangle ABC has a common angle with triangle AFE. Which we have already taken as alpha. So, the remaining angle will be 90 degrees minus alpha. Reason. The sum of angles in a triangle is 180 degrees. Comparing triangle AFE and triangle ABC. Observe that. Angle FAE is equal to angle CAB. Angle AFE is equal to angle ABC. And Angle AEF is equal to angle ACB. This shows that triangle AFE is similar to triangle ABC. And the proportionality of their corresponding sides is FE over BC is equal to AF over AB. FE is equal to 2. BC is X. A F is Y. And A B is 6. Substituting these values in the above equation will give us. 2 over X is equal to Y over 6. By cross multiplication, we will have. X times Y is equal to 2 times 6. Which will give us. X Y is equal to 12. Dividing through by x will leave us with y is equal to 12 over x. Next, let's consider triangle ABC. Since triangle ABC is a right triangle, from Pythagoras' theorem, AC squared is equal to CB squared plus AB squared. AC is equal to y plus y which is equal to 2y. CB is equal to x. And AB is equal to 6. Substituting these values in the formula will give us 2y squared is equal to x squared plus 6 squared. Simplifying this will give us 4y squared is equal to x squared plus 36. If we substitute y with 12 over x, we will have 4 times 12 over x squared is equal to x squared plus 36, which will give us 4 times 144 over x squared is equal to x squared plus 36. 4 times 144 is 576. So, we have 576 over x squared is equal to x squared plus 36. Next, we multiply through by 576 to clear the fraction. And this will give us x squared times x squared plus 36 is equal to 576, which is equal to x power 4 plus 36x squared is equal to 576. And this equation can be written as x power 4 plus 36x squared 
minus 576, is equal to 0. And this is a biquadratic equation. To factorize this equation, first, we are going to transform the biquadratic equation into a quadratic equation. To do so, let's take p to be x squared. And the quadratic equation will be p squared minus 36p minus 576 is equal to 0. Going further, we are going to factorize this equation. To factorize this equation, first, we multiply the first term and the third term of this equation. Doing so will give us minus 576p squared. Next, we find the factors of minus 576p squared, that when added together will give us plus 36p, that is, the second term of this equation. These factors are, minus 12p and 48p. Next, we replace 36p, with minus 12p, and plus 48p. So that we will have, p squared, minus 12p, plus 48p, minus 576, is equal to 0. Next, we factor out, from the first bracket, p, will factor out to leave us with, p minus 12. From the second bracket, 48, will factor out to leave us with, p minus 12, which is equal to 0. Note that, the two brackets must be the same. Hence, we can say that, p plus 48, times p minus 12, is equal to 0. If p plus 48, times p minus 12, is equal to 0. It follows that p plus 48 is equal to 0, or p minus 12 is equal to 0. If p plus 48 is equal to 0, then p is equal to minus 48. And if p minus 12 is equal to 0, then p is equal to 12. Since x must be greater than 1, then we take p is equal to 12, as our solution. Next, let recall that. We substitute x squared, with p. It follows that. x squared, is equal to 12. Taking the square root of both sides will give us. x, is equal to 2 root 3. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more.